we have a sub-adult triceratops, juvenile triceratops here, which is a little bit smaller than an actual full-size triceratops. Triceratops are interesting because there's a lot of skulls. There's a lot of skulls out there collected by all sorts of people. And, and you know, and very rarely do you actually find other bones with a skull because the skull is this, well, it's this giant flat rock. And when the water moves, it moves these skulls somewhere else. That's the idea. So to find a skull right next to other bones that aren't part of the skull is a big deal. This, this dinosaur had a lot of material coming out of the hill, so it's more, uh, it's, it's more important. Um, there's a lot more information that can be recovered from that. And, uh, it's sticking out of the ground in several different places. You dig up a dinosaur, you separate it from its, where it exists naturally, all the information there. And if you just pick up all the bones and put them in a box, you're separated from all of this. You don't see this anymore. If you watch a dinosaur in, in real time being excavated, it's, it's amazingly boring. Barnum Brown used to suspend himself in a barrel above his quarry so you could see the whole thing and draw it from that perspective. And we can't do that because we don't have a barrel. But we have better than a barrel. We have a digital camera. We stick up there with a little cable and it can take digital snapshots at high resolutions every 15 seconds. So we, we take photographs every so often. And then we do that from a perspective that allows us to see everything at scale. Where the technology comes into dinosaurs is actually preserving all those things that we never were able to preserve before, that information that those dinosaurs came from. So when a six-year-old walks into a museum, he sees a dinosaur in the ground, and he sees it in the different phases of construction of where it came from and what other things are around. And, and so we try to use technology to, to solve that problem. So you, as a person sitting there, can understand the historical significance of that dinosaur. And time lapse, even two-dimensional time lapse like we're doing here, it allows us to get a feel for what that quarry is because you can fast forward and rewind quickly through all the things that happen in the quarry. And that also translates into a map later on too. And you can see what happens at a site. You know, you see the country where this came from. You see the landscape where, it, where you see the geological time record where it's stuck in there. And you get an idea of all the people that have spent an enormous amount of time out here. So hopefully we can use that to find out more about triceratopses, besides how big you can find their skulls. And it all comes down to a $100 camera suspended by two F4s over the quarry.